Good morning, artists. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are ready to draw, excited to draw today. I know I am. Good morning, Lucas. I hope you're having a good day already. It's gonna be kind of a rainy day, but that's okay. I hope you guys have some fun stuff planned. Maybe putting together a puzzle, maybe reading a book, maybe watching a movie. Any of those things would be, a, today would be a fantastic day for any of those things. So, um, I'll probably read some today. Maybe I'll watch a movie that I haven't watched before. Or maybe I'll find a movie that I haven't watched for a really long time that I, you know, that I love and I just haven't watched in a long time. Maybe I'll pull out an old movie. So. I hope you guys are ready to draw seahorses. So these are the steps. Hello, Elsie. Glad you're here. These are the steps. It looks, uh, might look a little hard, but that's okay. We're gonna go slow. Okay, and then once you're done, it will look something like this. Of course, you will color yours in and create yours the way, how you want to. But, um, so I have two pieces of paper out today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these steps one through five in Sharpie instead of doing it in pencil. And then I'm gonna flip this paper over and then I'm gonna trace so that it will look more like this one, step number six, okay? And just know that when you get to here that just these extra lines are what you're gonna erase. So like the lines up here for the body so that you get this, okay, instead of having those extra lines in there for your um, seahorse, okay? Good morning, uh, Simon, and good morning, Niall. Glad you're here. Okay, so let's get started. So um, the first step for the head, okay, and again, I hope you'll do this in pencil because there will be some erasing, okay? I'm gonna do it in Sharpie though so that you can see the lines that I'm drawing, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna do it on this one first and then I'll flip this paper over so I get my version without the extra lines, okay? So um, for the seahorse's head, the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna draw an oval on your paper and it's gonna be kind of more like, so not an oval that's straight up and down, but the oval is going to be curved this way or turned this way just slightly. Okay, so your oval is going to be more like that. Okay, so see how it's not straight up and down, it's turned a little bit sideways. Okay, so that is your first um, shape that you're going to draw, and this is going to turn into the seahorse's head okay and now we're going to draw the body so to give us the shape the body shape we're going to draw another oval right here okay and then that's going to give us some space for the seahorse's neck okay so our oval is going to just down a little bit and draw another oval for the seahorse's body okay just like that now, we're going to connect the seahorse's head to the body by drawing a curved line. So it's going to kind of curve to the right. It's going to curve this way. So from the head, curve it back, and then meet the body right there. And then the tail is going to come from this part of the body and it's gonna come down and it's gonna swirl around. 
Okay, so you're gonna curve back, curve to the right just a little bit, and then bring that swirl inward, okay? And seahorses use their tail to, to hook on to things like um, seaweed or plants. Um, that's what they use to kind of anchor themselves. Okay, so we've got our neck, our head, our neck, our body, and then the start of our tail. The next thing that we're going to draw is the nose. So from the face, you're just going to draw two lines, and they're going to kind of come closer together. Okay, so the top one is kind of going just, just slightly downward, and then this one's going to come up from the bottom and come upward a little bit. So it's almost like we're drawing a V, but not connecting the end of the V with the point, okay? And instead of connecting it with a point, we're gonna just add a little circle at the end. And there is our seahorse's mouth and nose, okay? And then the top of our seahorse, to start off the, the back of the seahorse's head, we're gonna draw a line back, and then another one, it's shorter. So see how that one's a little bit shorter? And then we're just going to connect the two with a curved line like that. Okay. And, of course, if you want to do any adjustments, make any changes while you're doing this, go for that. Do that. Um, okay. So we've got the head, the neck, the body. We did the tail curving around. Now we've got our seahorse's nose and mouth. Now we've got the top of the head. Let's add the eye of our seahorse. And I just did a circle with a dot in the center. That's all I did for my seahorse's eye. And now we're gonna add that back fin, okay? So they've got a fin back here that kind of helps move them through the water. Okay, so how I did that was I just drew a line up a line kind of coming down, and then I just, so one up, one down, and then I just curved it to connect them, like that. And of course, if you want to add some lines in there, you can totally do that, or you can leave it without the lines. That's either way is going to be just fine. And now we're going to take the back of our seahorse's head, and we're going to bring it down, curve it. So like this line right here is kind of curved. So we're going to curve the line to the fin. So back behind the head, curve it to the fin. And now we're gonna take the bottom, and we're gonna curve it around to meet the inside of the tail. Okay, so I'm basically just taking the back of my seahorse, and here, let me move this down just a little bit more. Back of my seahorse, and I'm gonna follow that first curve, that first curve around, and then I'm just gonna spiral it until I meet the tail right there. Okay, so I just followed it around. And there is my seahorse. Now, this is where you would go back and you would erase the lines. Like you could erase this line right here. You could erase this line, make any adjustments that you want to. Um, probably erase this line right here. If you don't like this line, you could erase that one too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. And since I did it in Sharpie, I can't erase. So I'm going to flip my paper and I'm just going to trace the outline of my seahorse because I can see it through my paper. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm making some adjustments as I go, which you can of course do that with your pencil. So again, I'm just going back and I'm tracing what I've already drawn, and that would be you doing any of your racing that you need to do for your seahorse. And 
there we go. There's our cute little seahorse. Awesome. Now, where do our seahorses live? Well, it's a seahorse, so they live out in the ocean, right? They live in the sea. So what might we have with those seahorses? Well, we might have some shells. Maybe there's some sand because they're closer to the bottom of the ocean. Maybe there's um, seaweed. Maybe there's coral. Um, maybe there's a whole bunch of seahorses around. I don't know, but it's really up to you um, what you're going to do for your drawing. So what I did was... Um, I did it like you could see kind of like the edge where the um, sand is and then some seaweed and some coral and water, but then I added some rocks and more seaweed and some seashells, okay? So however you want to do it, there is no right or wrong answer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some sand back here, like the line of the sand where it meets the water and some seaweed kind of coming up. And there's no, you know, right or wrong way to do your seaweed because it's floating in water. So they just kind of go all over the place. Maybe I have a couple rocks that here. Maybe some seaweed poking up from behind the rocks. Like that. Maybe coral. Now how I draw my coral is I just make it really kind of like jagged and not even. And you know, there's no right or wrong way to do your coral because they just they just grow. They, you know, they go all over the place. So I just kind of make a line, a squiggly line, and I just go with it. You can see some seaweed kind of poking back behind here. Could be some little bubbles if I want little bubbles. Maybe a couple pebbles or some rocks throughout here. Maybe a couple seashells. Totally up to you. Yeah. So there you go. There's your seahorse. Cute little seahorse. I hope that you guys have fun with this. Um, post your pictures so that I can see your wonderful drawings. And I will see you guys again tomorrow morning at 1030. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.